Hello and welcome to another video review by SlimWalletJunkie.com. Today we take a look at the Sushi Wallet by Yellowbird Design. The first Sushi Wallet was made for the brother of designer Sarah around two years ago when he asked her to make an elastic band to hold his cards in hopes of ditching his bulky leather wallet. Sarah bought elastic and bias tape at the fabric store and created what is now the Sushi Wallet, so named for the likeness of the black elastic around a bundle of cards to a piece of sushi. He loved it and started using it immediately and daily. Sarah then went on to make sushi wallets for most of her friends and family, where they proved so popular that a Kickstarter campaign was created. After successfully surpassing the $5,000 goal by over 300%, the sushi wallet became a reality, with the slogan, Minimise the clutter, simplify your pocket. This is something we can definitely get on board with, so let's take a closer look. In this video we will be looking at both the original Sushi Wallet and the European version. The Sushi Wallet is a slim, minimalist wallet that fits comfortably in just about any pocket. Artistically designed, it is made of a 3 inch heavy duty woven black elastic with various trim colour options. It holds 1 to 8 cards and has a front pocket for cash. Here we have the red trim option, but the wallet has a total of 9 trim colours all on a black backing. These colours are black, red, orange, yellow, blue, purple, pink, new blue and turquoise. The appeal of the Sushi Wallet is in its simple, slim design. There is no unnecessary bulk added apart from the essential materials and your cards and cash. The only decoration comes in the form of the trim on the front pocket. Although it is not the slimmest possible wallet out there, it certainly does have a minimal profile and will fit comfortably in even the skinniest of jeans. The stitching on the wallet is to a high standard and has clearly been made with care. You won't find any loose corners or fraying edges. Combined with the rounded corners, this means the wallet will slip in and out of your pocket easily and shouldn't catch on other objects. The flexible elastic material used gives the wallet a real durability. And this is a product that is likely to last you years. Let's take a look at the wallet in action. In this example, we will be using five cards, three embossed and two plain. The original Sushi Wallet can, as you see, comfortably fit five cards in the band. Up to eight cards is possible in theory, but it will be a real stretch in reality. We think six is the comfortable limit. As you can see, cards are easy to access. Just slide out, take the card you want and slide back in. With a little practice, this could even be done with one hand and is a simple process. The front pocket will store any dollar or euro notes. In this example, we're using a five and a 20 euro note. They simply slide in and fit perfectly. You may find that you have a little trouble sliding them in smoothly due to the fact that the material used is not completely smooth. But with time, this shouldn't be a problem. As you can see, the wallet will also fit a five pound note very nicely and snugly. The contents of the wallet are completely safe and secure and there's no danger of them falling out. Although over time as it wears and becomes loose, this could become a problem. The downside to the flexible elastic material, however, is that by nature it is not particularly sturdy. This means the Sushi Wallet will not provide too much protection against bending or breaking of cards. It also does not provide any protection against RFID skimming. As can be seen, anything over a £5 note becomes impractical for the Sushi Wallet. However, step in the European version. European version is essentially the original wallet made larger and turned sideways. Rather than having an open elastic band style, one side is sewn down so that it's got a more traditional pocket. The front pocket is used to store up to eight cards. Again though, we think that six is probably the limit. Anything more is pushing it slightly. The main pocket can then be used to store cash, which will fit in easily if folded twice as so. Although folded this small, it does leave a lot of empty, wasted space and seems a little pointless. 
instead you could store notes folded just once in doing this though you will find that 20 pound notes will protrude ever so slightly from the wallet unless you get it really down to the very bottom If you prefer, you could store your cash and cards the other way around, using it more like the traditional sushi wallet, in having your cards in the main pocket and cash in the front pocket. As we show here, this works equally well, so it really is a case of preference and where you prefer to have your cash and cards. The only potential problem we see is that the notes are perhaps not quite as tight in the front pocket as they are with the traditional wallet, but we think they'll definitely be safe in there. Unfortunately, by accommodating the larger British style, the sushi wallet does lose some of its elegant minimalist appeal, but it is certainly appreciated that the designer has catered for the British market and created a viable option for pound notes. We will be giving away both wallets featured in today's video in our competition. Be sure to check out the link to see how you can enter. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Slim Wallet Junkie blog where you'll find the latest wallet news and reviews. And check out our online shop where you'll find a great range of Slim Wallets for sale.